starlings. They've escaped the European winter, and as they do every year, they've come south to the warmer skies over northern Iraq. But down below, hunters set their traps. The birds can be sold in the bazaar. Some people regard them as a delicacy. But there's a problem. The hunters believe the war, the frightening sounds of explosions and perhaps the roaring fighter planes are driving away many birds. Every year, at least three to 4,000, sometimes up to seven or 8,000 birds, can be caught if you're in a good spot in the peak season. But this year, if I can catch two to 3,000, I'll be lucky. The trap is sprung, but there are no starlings in the net, and the trappers leave with nothing to sell. But you will still find some starlings in the market. And not all of them are eaten. Some people buy them just to set them free, hoping this small act of kindness might bring them a little luck in an unlucky country. It is like someone is held prisoner, held captive, and you are coming to free them. Those poor birds. I have a feeling in my heart that tells me to free five of them. They could have chicks. I see it as a good thing. I've done it for God's sake. But the traders say that with the turmoil in Iraq dragging on, business is bad. Now, because of the situation and the lack of money, people are freeing fewer birds. There were people coming last year and they would free the lot. Every corner of Iraqi life has been touched by the country's civil war, even, it seems, the starling trade. Alan Johnston, BBC News.